Election day in Fulton County running smoothly so far. Our newsroom in the county only receiving a couple of reports of minor issues at a, a few polling locations. And that is welcome news for voters considering Fulton County's history of long election day lines and technical issues. It is the state's most populous county. Joe Hankey, the fact that there aren't many issues today coming at a good time, it seems, for election officials. Well, that's right, Sheba. No news actually is good news here in August. The state election board appointed a three person review panel to investigate Fulton County elections and that review ultimately could lead the state to take over Fulton County's Board of Elections. I'm told today the state review panel is in Fulton County, so if there was a day to have a smooth election, today would be that day. Voters in Fulton County lined up before the sun came up at Ponce Library so they could cast their ballots when polls opened at 7 a.m. North of Adamsville, at Jackson Memorial Baptist Church, voters called the process a smooth one. It was great, very easy, uh, everybody was very organized, everything went well. No delays at all. It's just a walk in. They said we just missed the, the rush. So we're happy with that. Reports did come in of two Fulton County locations on having poll pads when the polls opened this morning. The pads are used to check in voters. The equipment that the poll technicians had, they did not deliver those those pieces of equipment on time, which were the poll pads. So we'll have to find out why they didn't make those deliveries. Fulton Elections Director Richard Barron says one of the locations impacted was North Springs High School in Sandy Springs. But the polls opened on time as voters were able to use paper ballots leading to no delays. At Sutton Middle School in Buckhead, the poll location had a ballot scanner issue, but voters still cast their ballots by placing them in an emergency drop box to be scanned later today. Performance review panel is actually here today. I mean, I've met with two of them today and they'll be monitoring today. An almost hiccup free election so far comes at the perfect time for Barron and his staff with the state appointed review panel in Fulton County today. That panel is made up of Republican Ricky Kittle, chair of the Catoosa County Elections Board, Democrat Stephen Day of the Gwinnett County Elections Board, and Ryan Germany, general counsel for Secretary of State Brad Raffensberger. Barron says coming into today, he had a message for his election workers. I told staff to focus on us and not to worry about all these external things that happen because we can get distracted. All the externalities that we've dealt with since June of 2020, we just have to do what we do. And one potential issue Barron says is giving him a little anxiety only and only Fulton and DeKalb counties have to deal with is the polls across the state close at 7 except in the city of Atlanta. Polls are open until 8 p.m. Barron says under the state's new voting law, counties must report to the state the number of ballots cast by 10 p.m. Barron says they could be working up to that deadline if there are lines in Atlanta as polls close. Sheba. And I'm sure they will be because it is a big, big county. Joe, thank you so much.